Uh, welcome back to Sunday Brunch Live. It's Drinky Poo's time. We're here with Angus Deacon, Ashley Waters. What are we drinking today, Rebecca? I've got some natural wines for you today to try, which are unadulterated wines. Now, that confuses me because I always assumed wines were natural. Are they so organic? Is that what it means? They might be organic, mm. they might be biodynamic. There's kind of no accreditation, unlike organics. Um, so it can be a quite flexible concept, but generally they're not made with any added sulfur or sulfur dioxide in the, in the process, which is used as a sort of preservative. And no added sugar often, and they're often hand picked, so it's all very Do naturally done. Pardon? Are they alcoholic? Yes, they do have alcohol. Right. Do, right. Does that mean then, if there are no preservatives, that they have a shorter shelf life? In... It often does. Right, yes, okay. they're not wines that age very well, as a general rule. Again, that's a kind of flexible concept. But yeah, they're usually drunk quite young, and they can occasionally spoil in the bottle. So it's a bit more so, of a gamble. So these are wines from old-fashioned times before they learned how to preserve them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although there are some people who argue that the Romans used sulphur um, in winemaking, so it may have been going on for that long, but it's a bit of a dodgy historical note. No one's quite who sure. Who would argue that? <laughs> 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 right, so we, what's the first one we're going to So this is a Chardonnay from southern <laughs> France, and this is the kind of, um, this is the easiest way into a natural wine. This is a very straightforward, lovely Chardonnay. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, gentlemen. Right, cheers, 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 cheers. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Cheers. Cheers. Can I just say cheers to Dan? Dan in Bristol. How these drinks globe? Cheers. Cheers to Mum in Catrum. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see you there behind my drinks globe. Cheers! <laughs> oh, I love that. I've actually I got that. one of those. Have you? Yeah. See, I would like one of those. They're when amazing. your friends come around, they go, wow, is that they a drinks globe? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They spin as well. Oh, what have you got in it? Uh, you know, just a bit of, uh, bit of vodka, a bit of gin, the yeah, usual vodka, sort of thing. Have you got a drinks globe, Angus? Uh, no, 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 I have uh, one on order. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley drinks globe. No, no, you got to get one. You got to get one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, what are we trying to taste? So this is a lovely Chardonnay. So you've got a bit of um, citrus, um, some elderflower. It's a, it's a really nice wine. Um, Ten pounds. Uh, it's actually from Marks and Spencers. So it's a nice way in. But it's uh, you would drink this within about six months. You don't want to age it too long. And, and where's it from? Which country? France, southern France. Right. Oh, that's really yeah. nice because it's, it's not oaky. I'm, normally, I'm most Chardonnay or a lot of Chardonnays have kind of really oaky. That's it's especially the New World ones. Yeah, are very, very yeah, yeah. Boring, yeah. 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 Mm. It's actually quite unusual to oak natural wines. It's not. Um, it's not that it never happens, but it's unusual to do so. They often don't age in oak because again, they can't age that age that long because they're quite volatile because of the lack of preservatives. That's lovely. Mm. It tastes mm. like a. Nice. And it's Decent. lovely when you've had a beer beforehand as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much does that cost, though? So that's uh, £10, 9 pounds £10, £10. Yes. OK. Right, so the next one... So the next one exciting. is an orange wine. Orange wine? Orange wine, OK. Yes. Now. Is that what it's called, orange yes, wine? Yes, it's called orange wine. Right. Yeah. And this yeah. is from where? Spain. Spain, OK. Cheers, 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 Tim. Cheers, Simon. Cheers, Angus. Cheers, Sean. Cheers, Sean. Cheers, Ashley. Cheers, Paloma. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. That's Cheers. great. Where did Paloma go? So this is um, called Benemachia Tinajas, I think. Um, ah, and this, Greek. this is quite extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is yeah. it because we're just not used to the taste? Yes. So a lot of natural wine um, kind of advocates would say that uh, you just need to get used to the flavours of natural wine. I'm not totally sure if I agree with that. It's an interesting... It's like and I'm glad a lot I'm of time you some to get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, Moscatel, Muscat. Um, so you get that lovely floral grapiness on the nose, but then in the mouth it's really dry. And because what you do with orange wine is you actually age it on the skin. So it's a white wine, but it's been aged on the... Yes. Oh, sorry, fermented, fermented on the it's skins. It's not quite acidic -y. Yeah. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, so you get a certain amount of tannin out of the skins, which is very unusual yeah. for a white wine, which you normally wouldn't get. So you've got that red wine structure in the mouth, but it's a white wine in and of itself. Can anyone so. describe that for us? Because I'm struggling. Vinegary? Vinegary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like marmalade -y. It's almost as if, you know, you've kind yes. of melted a bit of marmalade that's in there. Yes, that's exactly it. So it's got this kind of uh, crystallised orange thing yeah. going on. Yeah, so it's, it has got a marmalade note, but it is quite sharp at the same time. It's a bit odd, isn't it? How much it is that is. one? That's £14. Pounds. But I do feel like it's one of those things that you great. might like given yeah. tasting them yeah. a few times. If you <laughs> what would we, what would were we eating eat? a lot of yeah. very Sorry. strongly yeah, flavoured food. Um, <laughs> Does it have a label on this? No, it doesn't actually. Oh, right. It has okay. a li yeah. That's how it comes. So yeah. Um, right. But yeah, it's from. So, so what, and what would you drink with that? So I would have that with something um, a little bit meaty. So I'd have that with a sort of um, yeah, like a kind of rich chicken dish, uh -huh. or maybe with some steak, something like that. Um, now glass this. Of nicer wine. 
Let's cheers, let's, let's cheers before we do it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, 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 uh, cheers, yeah, and, and cheers to Scott and Chris. Cheers, cheers guys. Cheers. Hello, Tim. Hello, Rimmer. Nice to see you sober. Anyway, we're just on the way to the uh, Brits on the tube. It's Scott Mills from Radio 1. This is Chris. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> they should be chauffeur driven or helicopter in. That's what yeah. Scott does. Anyway. Yeah. Cheers, Scott. Cheers, thank you, right, Now, what are we drinking here? Right, again, this is from France. This has got no um, no sulfur dioxide added, no oak, um, and no additives or anything. Oh, I like that. that. I do. It is a big old wine, isn't that is it? Really, it's, yeah. it's meaty yeah. and smoky and rich. Mm. Um, what, yes. do you, what do you reckon? Yeah, we like this one. <laughs> yeah. Ashley? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Again, that's £14. Um, so oh, it just yes. goes to show there's so many different styles of natural yeah. wine. It's very, var very varied. But yeah, so that's like smoke and um, rosemary delicious. and thyme, yeah. and it would go really well with a stew or a really mm. great. It's, it's pie. unusual. Moussaka. I like that. Yeah, mm. that yes, one I like that. Nice Moussaka. Yeah, we yeah. go deliciously we with Moussaka with bacon in. Yeah, I got <laughs> yeah. for me the Chardonnay. Uh, yes, Chardonnay, please. This one for me. Yeah, I'm going to Are you offering one. a crate? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. And I'll try hard to kind of like the orange one, but not quite sure when I'll ever drink it again. <laughs> 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 uh, thanks, Matt. Oh. Now, in just a moment, we're chatting to Sean Keevan first. Tony and the team are discovering how England's youngest castle was constructed in a time team special. High above Dartmoor stands a windswept.